and welcome back to Trip to the Mound. We are the iBaseball Channel podcast. Roy Joven and Mike Lacoste here. And so, Mike, we're going to talk a little, a little down under, if you don't mind, for a few moments. We're because again, we like we briefly mentioned before the break, the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks are both traveling down to Australia for the start of their major league season, but it's still something that coincides <laughs> with everybody else's spring training. So they're going to play this, then coming back to spring training, and then the rest of the season starts. Now, the Dodgers' number two starter, Zach Granke, got in a little hot water recently where they asked him about what his feelings were about going to Australia, and, and of which he says, I can't think of a single reason to be excited about this. And it was, And I think that was the thing that kind of drew the ire of some of the Australian officials who were now going back to the Dodgers and MLB asking for an explanation about this. Now, we understand the, you know, because Granky's <laughs> one of those guys that he's very meticulous about what he does. And, and the Dodgers are basically come forward and said, you know, in that respect, we understand that he th- is the way he is and this is why we love him. And on the other hand, we're, the rest of us are very excited to be coming. So there's a little bit of political give and take in that. But again, what are your thoughts about Granky's approach and what he said about this? Well, you know, he could have maybe attempted to, you know, maybe avoid the question. Maybe ah, I got to run in and get some ice on my arm real quick, you know, and, you know, and try to maybe they won't ask it again, you know, because, you know, the, you know, from the PR side, you know, uh, they're, they're looking for some positive comments, obviously, you know, uh, with the international scene of, of baseball mm-hmm. growing and growing. And we've, we've seen the, all the, uh, signs of that and uh, all this and but then you know he <laughs> he decided to answer the question you know and uh, I'm going to take his side though I uh, I you know I it's a first of all it's a grind you know to get there it's not just like going from LA to New York which is a pretty good flight in itself uh, it's it's going to be a grind getting there uh, number number one but you know it's kind of bizarre the way they set this up where you know they're 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 putting the pressure on to go play games over here that count and then they come back i guess and then they play games that don't count for a week or so and then they start up and play games that do count again and it's kind of i i think uh it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for a professional athlete to kind of turn that switch on and off uh because there's going to be uh <laughs> It's, they're going to have to be able, number one, I believe, to adjust their rosters temporarily, right? Because you're going to have you're going to have to have sort of a set roster to go travel with. That's sort of the roster that the stats count, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to come back and say, okay, now they don't count, and uh, we're going to let some guys come back and join the team, and and then maybe compete for that. <laughs> we didn't like those two or three games you played in Australia, you know, and now their heat's back on. A pos- I mean, it's going to get pretty crazy because there's going to be, you know, you you still have that mix of veterans that are uh, they've got their role already established. They're doing their thing, and they're they're going to try to mix and match that. Then you got the guys that are competing for a job, and it's. I agree with him. It's going to be a kind of a a weird situation, and I probably would not be excited i would be excited to be going on a trip like that but i don't think the thing about uh, the the opening uh you know the, the stats and the, and the games counting i think that's kind of uh that's a mistake well and it's something they've done recently in japan as well where they've sent a couple of teams over there to begin the regular season by playing in japan so this is the me- the mechanics of it is nothing new so to speak but let me ask you this, because obviously the aim of this is MLB broadening their international appeal. They want to send the game and show people, here's what our two teams, when they play each other, this is what they look like. Right. My question to you is, is there a good time of the year to actually do this? Is there a good time to send a couple of teams over there to play in it? I mean, obviously you're not talking about within the regular season, but is it something that you maybe do in the off season because you have that change of weather to where... Exactly. It's there... It's- it's getting cold here. It's going to be warming up down there. Yeah. I, I just don't like uh, the fact that, you know, in the United States or North America, well, it's in the States, there's a World Series put together and played in the States, and, and now uh, there are no other teams coming into this. So the, the need to go out and play 
uh, internationally uh, in the in the regular season championship season to me is not a good idea yeah it's just too far too many things can happen um, there's going to be loopholes you know stuff people are going to figure stuff out and it's not I don't think it's going to be a good thing it's just yeah I, I think they should do something though uh, because you have Latin America and uh, the Caribbean all kicking in at the same time. So why not start some sort of a new, uh, you know, winter playing sort of a league that, yes, it counts too, you know, and, and, and uh, build it that way rather than have the your A guys, you know, go down there and compete and then come back and, 